Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rochelle and this is... Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So happy St. Patrick's Day to you guys for those who celebrate. Today is March 17. Um, so today I am doing my weekly check-in. Um, it's a bit late. Usually I upload these videos on Friday, but last Friday I did get my first implant put in. So I couldn't really talk. Um, my mouth was a little bit swollen. So yeah, and then yesterday, Saturday was a little bit of a busy day. I did work Friday night and then got off Saturday morning and then um, we went to the movies that night also. So yeah, so today I'm going to be doing my weekly check-in from March 8th to March 7th, March 16th. So let's go ahead and look at my spending. All right, so here is my spending from March 8th to March 16th. So March 8th, I did get groceries and that was for $21.71 um, lunch. I forgot. Oh, yes. This day, my daughter was going to go to her um, band practice right after school. And so I got her food really quick to take with her um, because they were going to be practicing till 7 o'clock at night. So I got her food and that was for $5.63. That same day while she was at, at practice, me and my friends did go out to dinner. I think I mentioned to you guys when my friend um, is pregnant, I went to her baby shower last month and she's due to have the baby now in two days today. So that day I did go out to dinner with her and we did go to Voodoo Crab and I got a seafood boil um, and a couple of drinks. So I'm taking that out of leisure and that was for $94.55. Um, that Sunday, March 9, was my daughter's band um, concert. I did have to buy a ticket for $15, um, but I didn't add it here because I had to pay for that um, in cash. Um, so I already took it out of school. All right. The ninth, her friend came over um, to have a play date. So I got them pizza and love a great cake and the wings is for me. And that was from Domino's and that was for $40. Uh, March 10th, I did get gas at BJ's, and that was for $39.49. March 10th, oh, this day is not, this day is not Sunday. This is the Sunday. Um, so I think this was for Friday when she was at school. I had to get the ticket because you had to buy it early. And this was the one, the Sunday when she had her concert. So we did end up going to Target because we forgot that she needs an outfit for that. So I did, she had to wear all black. So we did get a dress, tights, and a headband. And that's coming out of school for $35. Um, that same day, we also got uh, more aqua for lip balms. And she had a little itch. Um, so I had to get some cortisone cream. So that would take out of health for $15.44. Um, after the concert, we did get tacos and that's coming out of food for $28.64. The next day, March 11th, I was going back to my travel job. So I did get groceries to meal prep and that was for $39.98. Um, I also paid for my yearly registration and I decided to get new plates because mine are like peeling already and They've already changed the plates. I have like really old plates. So this year I decided to get new ones. So normally it should be like 180, I think, but this time it's 214. And I'm still waiting for those plates to come in. Next up, so March 11 to 13th, I was at work um, at my travel job, which is in New Jersey. I live in New York. Um, so while I was there, I did, um, I do have an apartment there and I have food already there, but I realized the milk that I had went bad. So I did get um, groceries and um, I got a breakfast sandwich as well. So that was for $14.78 coming out of food. Um, March 14 at night, well, March 13, I went to work at night and then March 14 in the morning is when I got out of work. So during the night past midnight, I got a drink from the vending machine. That was $1.50. Um, 
early in the morning when I got out of work, I was coming back home um, to New York. So I got breakfast from the cafe and that was $8 and five cents. Um, the same day, my aunt that's in the Philippines, um, it was her birthday last month, but she was asking for a birthday gift. So me and my brother went half on this. Um, I gave her 50 and he gave her 50 as well. So we sent this to my aunt that's here to um, send to the Philippines. And I just took that out of my checking account. Um, so I just need to take this money out of celebrations to put back in my checking account. Okay, so March 14th, Every Thursday is my daughter's um, gymnastics class. So after gymnastics class, she wanted Buffalo Wild Wings. So that was for $14.11. And I got Chipotle, but I already had a um, gift card. So I just had to pay $1.28 extra for my bowl that I got. March 15th, which was two days ago, I went to the dentist and I got my first implant in. Um, and I gave another deposit for $500. Um, I've mentioned before that I am saving for to get my implants. However, I'm not waiting till I have all of the money saved um, to start putting the implants in. I need three total implants to be put in and I got the first one in so far. This same day, I got kibbles. This is um an automatic delivery for my dog's food. I do give him kibble and I also give him farmer's dog. We just mix his food. So this day, I got the kibble delivery for $29.75. So that's coming out of Bruce's envelope. Um, I got gas again for $41.58. And then TJ Maxx, after I went to the dentist, I went to TJ Maxx and I got my dog a um, treat. He really likes those sweet potato treats. It's just basically dried up sweet potatoes. And I either get them from TJ Maxx or Marshalls. And then I got him a new toy because he ruined his elephant that I got him a couple months ago. So I'm taking $11 out of Rue. I also got exfoliating gloves and I got another hair wrap. I already have one, but... I needed one for when I am at my apartment. Um, so I'm taking $10 out of my envelope. On my way home, my dentist did send antibiotics in for me to take um, after I got the implant in. So I picked that up and that was for $7.79. Um, I also got more groceries this same day for $34.55 because I can only eat soft things. So I ended up getting like ground chicken, um, noodles, like soft things that I could um, tolerate to eat. Um, the next day, March 16th, oh no, March 15th at night, I did want to work at my per diem job. March 16th in the morning, I got out of work and I got breakfast at the cafe for $10.65. Um, my daughter's cousins were here and one of his cousins' birthday was last Monday. So yesterday, they did go to the trampoline park and I gave her $60 to spend uh, for the ticket and for like if she wanted any food. I didn't end up going because I just got out of work so I needed to sleep. So she went with her cousins, her two cousins, their mom and my sister. And I already took that out of leisure. So leisure is already uh, minus 60 from the previous week. And then that night when they came back, we did go to the movies and we watched Dune 2. Um, and that's coming out of leisure as well. This is $28 ticket for me and my daughter. And then, of course, we had to get concession food. So that was for $33.71. So in total today, we should have at least $1,331.19. These are the categories that I will be taking them out of. Um, so yeah. Okay, you guys. So that is everything. I have my computer to the side here to do my reference. Uh, first things first, we're going to take money out of my $1 envelope challenge to use for change. So let's see. Let's grab some ones. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So I think 15 and then a couple of fives up here so 5 10 15 25 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 50 
Okay, so in the end, we should have 50, we should take $50 back to put back in my $1 envelopes. Um, so, all right, first things first, let's go into Smile. And so far for this, I've saved $2,000 and I've been spending them um, to get the implants in. So now we are back to zero for this one. Um, but so far I've saved 2000 and I've already spent 2000 for the implants. All right, next up, we're going to go into my funds. So for health, um, we are taking out 23, 23, so we should take out $24. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I have to give myself back a dollar to make 24. All right, next is celebrations. And for this one, we're pulling out the 50 that I gave to my aunt. Um, let's come back to this because I don't have change. So let's go next to school. And for school, we have to take out 35. So if I take 50 out minus 35 and I need 15 back in change, so I'll take this and give myself back $15. So five, 10 and 15. All right, now we can go back to celebrations and switch out, give this 100 in here and take the 50 back. Okay. I believe that is it for this um, binder. And most of the money is coming out of here now. So this is my fixed envelopes and my fun envelopes. So for annuals, I am taking out 214 to pay for my car registration and my new plates. Um, so I have 100 in placeholders. So I have to move this from my high yield savings account back into my checking account. And then I'll take this other 100 so that's 200 and then I also need $14. So I'll take this 20 and give myself back um, $6 in change. 5 and 6. So for this envelope now, we have 550, 75, 81. Oh, I just realized I didn't count the other um, envelopes, but it's okay. All right, next up is food. And for food, we are taking out a total of 220 and 88 cents. Now I know I don't have enough in here. I have 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, and 220. 220, so that means I need $10 more. So I'm actually gonna be taking that out of transportation. So I'll put this 20 and then I'll take back the 10. And then for transportation, we need a total of $81.07. So I'm just going to take out $81. So I'm going to put this 100. So 100 minus 81. So I need $19 back. So um, 10. So 10, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. And now transportation has 10, 15, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, $34 left. Okay, next is for my envelope and I'm taking the out $10. So just a 10 here. So leftover, I have 150, 210. All right, next is my dog, Roo, and for him, we're taking out $40.75, but I'm actually going to roll down, so um, I'm just going to take $40 off. So he now has 100, 20, 40, 60, and 170. And lastly is Leisure, and for Leisure, we're going to take out 156, 26, so 157. So I'm going to take out this 160, 150, and 160. And then I am going to give myself back $3 in change. So 1, 2, and 3. 
So now Leisure has 20, 35, 36, 37, and 38 dollars left over. All right, now we've pulled everything out of the envelopes. So now what I'm gonna do is just go back and see if I can condense anything out of the envelopes. So here we have two fives. So we'll switch that for a 10. All right, food is empty, transportation. We have five, 10, 15, $20. So we'll switch these for a 20. So transportation still has 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, and 34. Next for my envelope, I do have two 50s, so I'll switch those for a 100. My daughter's envelope, she has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, so I'll keep this 20. So this should be 50, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Perfect. She still has 100, 200, 350, 75, so 375. All right, my dog, Rue. We can do a 50 here, 20, 40, and 50. home 20 40 60 80 90 100 5 and 110 so we'll keep a 10 20 40 60 80 95 100 so we'll switch all of these for a 100 bill and then for leisure we have 20 35 Okay, this is all good. All right, that is it for this. And then let's just quickly check in here to see if we could condense anything. So for car, we have, we can do 50. So 20, 45, and 50. For health, health is all good. Trips, trips, we can do, we can do another 50 here. So 20, 40, 5, and 50. Okay. Next is birthdays. And for this, we can do a hundred. So 50, 70, 95, 100. All right, Christmas. Um, we can just, oh wait, yes, we can do a 50, 20, 45, and 50. All right, celebrations. Um, we can just do a 20, 10, 15, and 20. Okay, school, 20, 35, 45. So we can do a 20 here, 10, 15, and 20. All right, extracurriculars. Oh, I don't have another 50, so we'll switch these two fives for a 10. All right, electronics. This is all good because we don't have a 50. And then lastly is YouTube. And for this one, we can do 100. So 50, 70, 90, 100. And then we can go back to electronics and grab that 50. So 20, 40, and 50. 
Okay, so we are all condensed. Now what I'm going to do next is take $50 out of here to put back in my $1 um, saving challenge. So for once, we have one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll put the rest in five. So that's five, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, and 50. So let's just give that another count. So 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So that is perfect. We are going to put that back inside this envelope. Okay, so now let's go ahead and give this a count. And in the beginning, I said we should have at least $1,331.19. So let's see how much we have. So this is all of the money that we are taking back to the bank and transferring from my high yield savings account to my um, checking account. So for placeholders, we have $500 and $600 that we have to transfer. So that's $600, $700. 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. So this is 1,000. Now we need 331 and 19 cents. So that's 1,000, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40. So that's 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 10, 20, and 230. 235, 240, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 300. So that is 300, and then we still need 31 at least. So 5, 10, 15, 25, 31. So that is right. We have $1,331. We do need 19 cents more, but I can just take that out of my checking account. That's no big deal. Um, so yeah, that is all of the money that we are taking back to the bank to pay for my credit card for the week. Um, yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.